on Patrick Dolan as he breaks down all your legal news. Good morning, John. Thank you for joining us on this Labor Day. Yes, it is. It's a it's a day off from the courts, but uh, I'm still working. I have about a half a day of work. Got to go down to the jail and see one of my less fortunate clients, mm -hmm. and then we'll be having a barbecue celebrating Labor Day for our legal community Good. and our new uh, cast of uh, 16 law students at the California Desert Trial Academy College of Law. And that I want to touch on in just a few moments. First, tell us about this Drew Peterson case. What's going on? Well, you know, it's been going on for five weeks, and on Tuesday the closing arguments take place. This has been a real strange trial. There's been all kinds of things that have been blurted out by the prosecution that have caused mistrial motions by the defense. Uh, the defense called some witnesses who sort of went sideways on them. Uh, the jury has decided to wear the same color clothes every day. And so there's a very interesting sort of mix of things going on. On tomorrow, mm -hmm. the closing arguments will take place, and then this jury will be handed the case, and it'll be interesting to see what they do with it. Now, we're also going to talk about the alleged Fort, Fort Hood shooter, uh, Hassan, Adal Hassan. What's going on there? Well, you know, there's been this big controversy about shaving his beard. He has in indicated that it is his religious right not to have to be shaved. His defense went to the uh, United States Appellate Court that covers the military tribunal there, and the court set a hearing for October 9th, but they said, we're not giving you a stay on your trial in the meantime. And so the judge, Judge Gross, who is a captain in the military, is deciding whether or not to hold him down and forcibly shave him mm -hmm. or whether or not to wait a little longer until they actually get a ruling from the appellate court. The defense has got a big, tough case on their hands here. And so they're, they're talking the idea. They've been making motions to continue, and they're trying to push it over into next year after the holidays now. We'll see what happens. But I know that the people that are victims or families of the victims are yeah. quite concerned that this courts martial get underway, and I think it's going to get underway before the first of the year. All right. Well, in celebration news, you were talking earlier about having students uh, come celebrate with a barbecue with you. What are we talking about here? Well, our California Desert Trial Academy College of Law is now underway. Tomorrow night starts the first class, and we have, over the last several years, had a barbecue on Labor Day celebrating our legal community. And in this instance, we will have our 16 students there to meet some of the members of the legal community, some lawyers, some judges, and uh, start networking with the legal community. We hope that that will sort of ease them and eventually to positions of um, internships and eventually maybe some employment because, you know, the legal community, uh, it's a little tough out there. People yeah. are getting out of school with huge loans and no place to go to work. Uh, we're trying really hard to avoid the loans and uh, give people a, a pathway to working in the legal community. And we're just thrilled that we're underway. And uh, we expect that um, uh, by this time, um, about this time of the month uh, in July, our students will have taken the baby bar for the first year and we'll be getting our results in mid-August and hopefully making news statewide because we'll, <laughs> we'll beat the numbers. JPD, creating jobs. We really Indeed. appreciate you joining us on this Labor Day. Have a great day and hope the celebration goes well. Thank you, Anthony.